five. Yes. Hey, it's Chris homesteading the hard way, and this video really doesn't have a topic. They was just some things I wanted to say. Uh, we're a little small channel. We've only been putting up videos about two or three months, and uh, and we don't have many subscribers, and we're really not even out there. But and we're not monetized, not planning on becoming monet becoming monetized anytime in the near future. The reason we started this channel was to try to help people. Uh, I'd never watched YouTube before, and a few months ago, me and my little boy, he's sitting over here off camera, but uh, we got to watching YouTube, there weren't anything on TV, and we got to watching some homestead channels and stuff, and, and that's what we've done our whole life. The things that people are trying to do now, trying to get back to the old ways, raising their own food, we've always done it. And I was curious about how other people did it, and we got to watch some stuff, and I realized there was a lot of people that needed a little help. There's a lot of wrong information on YouTube, a lot of stuff that people tell you that just ain't right. And, you know, uh, we wanted to try to help, at least put the way we did it out there, and maybe it would help some people. But what has surprised me is how many little small YouTube channels they have way more subscribers than we do. They have a thousand subscribers, 500 subscribers. How many of them have reached out to us and subscribed to us and, and comment on our videos and, and really, they, they try to help me. I mean, they really do. And I try to help them. If they've got a little problem, I try to do something in the comments to help them. And uh, one of those is, my wife's going to have to say this name for me because I can't pronounce it. Guyan meets Gaia. Say that one more time. Guyan meets Gaia. Okay. Now, maybe y'all heard that. I can't wrap my tongue around it. But I really enjoy watching this guy. He's, uh, he's a hippie, and me and him are probably just as different as night and day. But he admits he's had some problems. He's had some problems with depression. He's had some problems with alcohol, I think. And, and he's got him whooped. He's, uh, he's been dry and straight, and he's doing good, and he's got him a little small homestead, and he's raising him some stuff. And uh, I get the impression he's never done it before, but he, he's doing the best he can. And if he watches this video, something I won't even know. He did a chicken coop video. Well, it wasn't a chicken coop video, but he had a chicken coop in his video the day before yesterday, yesterday whenever it came out. And he was kind of apologizing for the, the coop not looking like it was bought at Tractor Supply. Well, the truth of homesteading or a small farm or, or whatever, unless you're independently wealthy and you're doing it for a hobby, chances are you're going to have to make it, make do, or do without. And, man, nobody should judge you for having to build your chicken coop out of scrap. Everything we've got is built out of scrap. That's normal. That's everyday farm life. It, it's like I said, it's make it, make do, or do without. But we do enjoy watching your channel, and that's a little shout out to you. Thank you for everything, all the comments you left on ours and, uh, and being good to us. But that's something else I, I want to talk about. That maybe that'll be the title of this video. Contrary to what people tell you, you can't make a lot of money on a homestead. Depending on where you're at, you might can do better than others. Here, we can't sell egg. Everybody's aunt or uncle's got eggs. We can't sell egg. We can sell pork. We can't sell milk, because selling milk's illegal. Used to, you could sell it for animal feed. Can't do that anymore in North Carolina. We can't make cheese out of our milk and sell it. We can't make butter out of our milk and sell it. Unless we become a, a licensed inspected dairy and that costs too much money you gotta have too much stuff i don't know how's the sun do i need to move or it's in my eyes i can't see what any. about the camera is it in the camera no i okay. think the camera's okay you're not going to be able to make a living really off of your homestead now you may do some things on your homestead to make some money and you can grow and you're going to grow yourself something to eat that's fit to eat that you know where it came from, and you got a little confidence in it. And it tastes better. Stuff you raise tastes better than what you buy at the grocery store. Um, you're going to have some hardships. 
You're going to have horrible things happen, like losing a cow. We've got a cow. We're probably going to lose any minute. All of them may be sick for all I know. It's took me several years to build my herd of cows back up. Might be out of the cow business before the end of the month. I don't, I don't know. I hope not, but we don't know. But if you, if, if you hit a hardship, just keep going. Do the best you can. Get back up. Get back after it. You're going to have setbacks. Our garden's drowned. The pasture's drowned. We had a hurricane. It's been about the plague's Egypt around here. We've had flies and bulls and floods and dead cows and everything else. Or dying mosquitoes cows. Mosquitoes the size of bats. Yeah, mosquitoes that fly off of chickens and everything else. But all you can do, all you can do is just keep going. And if you're not close to God, I promise you, by the time you get through homesteading or farming, you will be because you spend half your life praying for it to rain and the other half praying for it to stop. No doubt. And uh, just, it's not easy. And depending on how much of it you grow for yourself, it can get real hard. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people that, and I'm not trying to start a fight because I don't know them, and what people do ain't none of my business. I don't care what somebody else does. But I'm sure there's a lot of people that, that, that are homesteading that eat out six or seven meals a week but they got a garden and some chickens if, but if you're really growing everything you eat it can be stressful you know I mean you always had the option of going somewhere and buying something if you have to but if your goal is to grow everything you eat it can be a problem when things don't work right when the bugs eat up your garden or deer pull up your garden or the cows get out, and put, well, we ain't had no trouble with cows get out in a while, but we used to have problems like that. Deers eat all your peas? Yeah, the deers eat, the deer eat your peas. It, it, that's just life. It, it's hard to do, you know. And you got to want to do it. And, uh, and that's kind of why I appreciate that boy's channel so much. He, he's really trying. You can tell he's trying. You tell he's got motivational issues sometimes, and... And like I said, he, he meditates and he's into some of the Japanese culture. We're probably as different as night and day. But I respect what he's doing. And uh, I want to help him. And uh, the way I was raised, if a man will work, you respect him. If a man's doing everything he can do, you do whatever you can do to help him if you can help him. That's part of what's wrong with the world today. Nobody wants to help their neighbor. But anyway, I need to let you go. we got some work to do. But just remember, you'll never plow a field by turning it over in your mind. And if you've been enjoying watching our stuff, if you don't mind helping us, share it on Facebook, well, share it on social media. Do whatever you can do to help us get our name out there. Because like I said, we're not a professional channel. And we're just trying to help people, but we're not getting a lot of exposure. Y'all have a good day now.